up guys? NJ Bike Life here. Beautiful day, it's almost sunset, maybe another hour till sunset. I'm out here with my new helmet, as I showed you in the prior video. It's the Fly Racing Trekker. Extra large gloss black helmet. And I hope the, uh, what's it called? I hope the angle is good. Because if it's not, I'll be making this whole video for nothing. But you guys wouldn't know anyway because I won't release it if it looks like crud. Unless something cool happens like I smashed into this guy's door. Oh, what? He's cutting the garden? <laughs> They're just watching their poor dad do all the work. That's a shame. Yeah, you better back up, lady. I'm a big, big, huge Mack truck coming through. I didn't have enough room to pass through those two cars. Just kidding. Obviously, I did. So anyway, got the new helmet. Put the got a GoPro mount. Put the mount on, and then I mounted. I mean, then I put the mic in. I have the mic in a similar spot to where it was the other on the other helmet, but this helmet definitely has better protection. So I'm hoping that it sounds a lot better. This bike, I mean this helmet, had um, the option to like open the front vent or close the front vent, like the mouthpiece. It had like a vent there, so I. Um, closed right now. I'm hoping it sounds good with it closed. Maybe like halfway through the video I'll open it up just to see what it sounds like, if it sounds any good. But as far as wind noise go, I mean, this is the visor down, obviously, as you can see in the GoPro. And then this is with the visor up. And I honestly can barely even hear myself because of how much wind noise comes in with the visor and with the shield both up. So, that's without the, that's with the, the shield down. And like I said, I can barely hear wind noise myself, so. So I doubt you guys can. You can definitely hear me breathe. I know you guys like that. But um, yeah, the new helmet. It's pretty, pretty badass. I do want to get a mirrored shield just to look cool. And then I'll just like always have goggles on me so that when it gets like dark, I can just throw the goggles on and then keep the shield up. But. I definitely needed a new helmet. That dirt bike helmet I bought off Craigslist for like 30 bucks. And um... I don't even know how that helmet like lasted so long. I'm still keeping it. Don't get me wrong. That, that helmet I'm still keeping. But it's like only for the dirt now. I'm not riding it with it on the street anymore. And then I had that other helmet, that, that black and, uh, that, that black one, but that helmet I bought off Amazon for like 50 bucks, and, um, the, like a week after I bought it, the lining all started coming out, like the, the padding on the inside, I guess it was like just hot, hot glued in there. So it all started like coming out and uh, I, I told Amazon about it. They gave me my money back luckily and they let me keep the helmet but there's like no reason to have the helmet. The whole thing is compromised now. So I figured, eh, let me invest a couple dollars into myself and buy a helmet and I had gift cards. I feel like I've said all this before but I don't know if I did. 
or if I put it in a video. But if I did, sorry, I mentioned it again. If I didn't, now you guys know this helmet was really cheap because I had a lot of gift cards and stuff. And yeah. I've been practicing my wheelies on this bike. And they're uh they're still scary. I can get them up pretty quick, you know, now in second gear, pop the clutch and the, and the whole bike just rips right up. But I'm afraid the one time that I'm gonna need the brake, it's not gonna be as as brakeful as I want it to be, and it's just gonna loop. Which I'm sure has to happen anyway, because that's the part of learning. But I just don't want it to happen. But maybe I'll make a video of my progression of wheelies or something. Also, if anyone's watching and you're local, I am selling the Honda. Um, it was fun while it lasted, but I'm not having fun with it anymore. So, I decided to get rid of it, and I'm looking to get like 3,000 bucks, and I know that it's probably going to need new clutch plates. I did the master cylinder, I did the slave cylinder, so now the only thing left that it could possibly need be the clutch plates so I looked up the clutch plates online they're 170 bucks for the plates and the steels and then you might want to get a, um, a spring too springs like $20 on eBay so with the clutch springs and new plates You'll have that bike for a long time because I did everything else. So if you are local, I am selling it for 3,000 bucks. As far as the Yamaha goes, I don't think I could ever sell it. Like, it's too much fun to sell. But I probably should change the oil in it sometime. Man, look at my reflection in the in the glass. I look cool. I look like a real cool guy. I got huge forearms in the mirrors. I look like Popeye. That kid had a motorcycle vest on. But he was walking. <laughs> and he did not look old enough to even have a motorcycle or even look at a motorcycle. I told you, that's how it sounds. Things just farting all day. Well, I think this video should be pretty informative on my sweet new helmet along with my sweet new setup and, and all that jazz. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you had a blast. And I'll see you guys next time. Enjoy bike life. See ya. That was a cop. <laughs>